Welcome back to House of Hair UK. Hope everyone is safe and well. Today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. We are doing a weave with closure transformation. This lady went from this to this using our closures and hair bundles. At House of Hair, we are not known for doing closure installs. If I'm honest, we probably do around 10 to 15 of them a month. But this beautiful lady wanted a protective style and she wants to completely change her colour. So we used one of our Wand B closures and our stylist Shay custom coloured it for her. And then we used two of our straight bundles in the length 20 inch, I believe, that are in a colour 1B and I would say a colour 6. It is meant to be a colour 4, but actually it looks quite bright here. So we custom colored the closure and we had pre-colored bundles. This is me just giving her closure a little bit of a customization because we are not closure specialists inside our salon and most of our closures are for our hair loss customers. We don't offer a really intense kind of like plucking the closure to the gods. We do not do that. So we lightly plucked it. We used a lace tint as well to make sure that the color of the closure blended with her own skin complexion really well. Her stylist was running behind, so I jumped back behind the chair and started to do her braiding pattern. This is Jazzy when she returned and Jazzy started doing her braiding. As we're doing this for a protective style and we're gonna be changing the color, every last bit of her hair is gonna be braided down and Jazzy actually done the braid pattern in the part in that she actually wants to wear the closure in. After doing the braiding, we normally will put a little bit of light oil in the client's scalp and sometimes we'll use a hot rag to help it penetrate the scalp a little bit better. We always use light oils. We wouldn't use anything like castor oil on her hair because that can actually lead to getting quite sweaty and irritating and maybe a little bit itchy. So always use a very light oil that's gonna seep and melt into the scalp really quickly. I'm not actually a closure girly, but I'm told by Jazzy and Elizabeth that by putting this mesh or this net down on the client's hair, it can help keep the braids more secure, but also help keep the actual closure more secure. We use the mesh that has got the large holes in it so that she gets more ventilation in her scalp. Quick cheeky plug, if you guys wanna get any beginner kits, tools, equipment, hair care guides, have a free consultation or buy any of our refresher eBooks, they're all available on the houseofhairuk.com website. After her mesh has been stitched down, it's time to actually put on her closure. So I just done some light plucking to it just to give it a little bit more of a natural hairline, but the customer doesn't want it too plucked and she wants to continue using it over and over again. And when you bleach the knots and pluck it a lot, you'll find that the hair sheds. So now let's watch Elizabeth work her magic. So she actually had Jazzy as her main stylist. However, because she's not gonna have it glued down, Jazzy felt like Elizabeth, who specializes in our hair loss systems, would be better suited to do this as it's not gonna be glued down. She wants to have it glueless. So Elizabeth, who loves doing closures and hair loss systems, obviously agreed to help. So she's actually ended up with more than one stylist, but Elizabeth is just stitching down her closure to her first braid. And then she's gonna start stitching around the closure. And I'll show you guys how she anchors down the side, because as you can see here, her braid is quite far back from the front of the closure. So I normally would have thought that she would need to tape it, but Elizabeth doesn't actually use tape or doesn't use glue. Instead, she uses a little bit of like elastic on the sides of it and she custom cuts the elastic to make sure that it doesn't put too much pressure on her braids and her natural hair.
Another small announcement is that my e-guides or training guides are now available from the Iander Means Business website and I will link it below. These are not your traditional e-books. These are step-by-step -step guides that show you how to do a consultation, placement, tools and equipment, health and safety, how to place the hair extensions, remove them and also list some common questions that customers may ask. These are specific for actual hairdressers who want to get into the world of hair extensions. I was actually taking a phone call and I missed the bit where she done the anchor, but I was able to lift up the closure and show you guys how she put the little bit of elastic, I would say, um, yeah, elastic on the sides here and she stitched it from the corner of the closure to the bottom part of the braid that was closest to her ear. I asked the customer if it was too tight. She said it's very, very comfortable. So this elastic will help to secure it and make it lie more flat against her head. So when all the bundles have been installed, she used two bundles of 20 inch and she used a closure that was 18 inch. As you can see here, the knots are not bleached. A lot of our clients will not bleach the knots because they want to use the closure multiple times. But what you can do is use a little bit of your own makeup foundation in the actual part in so that it blends a little bit more and so the knots are not as visible. This color looked absolutely beautiful, both straight and wavy. She decided that she wanted to have a little bit of a wavy look with some soft layers around the face, but I actually didn't get to film those parts. So this is her final look, guys. What a transformation. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you love watching hair extensions transformations, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, thank you for watching.